So in this question here, well, down here, uh, no, one C. No, wait a second. Okay, well, basically in this whole question one, uh, question one, it's um, we're looking at the electrolysis of magnesium chloride. So magnesium chloride. Well, magnesium is I remember is in group uh, two, so it's going to have two electrons in the outer shell, and so it's going to lose both of those electrons to shed that outer shell and then the remain the electron the sh electron shells underneath will be full when it loses those two electrons it will form a double positive charge okay um, and then we have the chloride ion a chloride is in uh, chlorine is in group seven so the chloride ion will be uh, will just need to gain one electron to fill the outer shell so that would be a minus and it'd be minus one you don't write the one you don't write it on the left or the right, you just leave it as minus. And so in order to um, make this neutral, we would need to have two of these. So we've got two plus and two minus. And so the formula for magnesium chloride is MgCl2. When well, they give you that anyway. Uh, let's just shrink that. Now, if we just look at these, um, oh, I don't want to group it actually. Uh, if we just look at these um, ions for a moment, then when we are electrolyzing this uh, this compound magnesium chloride, um, we want to uh, we're trying to basically separate the ions out. So the magnesium ion will go one way, or the magnesium ions will go one way, and the chloride ions will go another way. There's going to be many of these. I'll just copy them a few times. So essentially the chloride ions will go to the positive electrode and the uh, magnesium ions will go to the uh, negative electrode. And luckily in this case um, we're looking at, well it says it down here somewhere, it's molten. We know we're looking at a molten situation but I can't Explain why magnesium chloride cannot be electron. Hang on a second. Where does it say it? Definitely says it somewhere. Oops. Justify the production. Where does it say it? I read it. Um, magnesium is. Uh, yes. Explain why it cannot be electrolyzed. Ah, magnesium chloride solution. Okay. Hang on one second. Let me just pause the video. Okay, so actually uh, we've got two. So we've got experiment A and experiment B. In experiment A, is we're using molten magnesium chloride. We're going to certainly need a lot more uh, of heat than a little candle there. But we'll need, but with enough heat, you can melt uh, magnesium chloride. This is a much simpler process. If we said, for example, that um, this is the um, positive electrode and that's the negative electrode then uh, the magnesium ions will go over here and the chloride ions um, the chloride ions will go over there but in experiment B we have magnesium chloride solution which um, presumably will be in water you don't need to heat up the solution then because the ions in magnesium chloride are able to freely move within the solution so that's the advantage in terms of actually working things out it's quite complicated uh, and in fact we do have to look at the more complicated situation for 1c for, for yeah for question 1c because they're looking at experiment b not experiment a if we just look at experiment a first then as i said the magnesium is the magnesium is going to go to the negative electrode the chlorine is going to chloride is going to go to the positive electrode so if it was asking me about experiment a then the answer would just be chlorine gas because the chlorine is going to uh, go there it's going to we're going to have two lots of it in fact it's going to produce uh, to uh, no it's going to produce a chlorine molecule to every two chloride ions will produce a chlorine molecule and these electrons will be stripped away from it and so that that would be if they asked us to draw the half equation that would be what we would do there um, 
And so the answer, if they asked us about experiment A, would be chlorine, nice and easy. In this case, it's a bit more complicated because the water within the solution also is separated out. So that becomes H plus and OH minus. So we did this a while ago, and it's quite a complicated part of electrolysis. Um, and so the reason why this is particularly messy is because how do I know which one is going to go to the positive electrode and which one's going to go to the negative electrode. We've got these two extra uh, positive and negative ions. I'll colour code the positive one red or pink like I did before. Um, and so we've got, how do we, we've got these two different positive ions and we've got these two negative ions now in, this, in, in the case of experiment B. So how do I know which one's going to go where? Well, there is a um, there is a little poster, or well, there's, we've made it. There's there's a set of rules, and I and I got a poster which helps us with understanding these rules. So I'll just get the poster now and make it a bit smaller though. So let's have a look. A little flow chart. What will be produced at the anode? Well, to find out, we ask, is there a halide ion present? If yes, the halogen will be produced at the anode. OK, so we know that uh, possibly there's more than one gas, but that would mean that the answer to question 1C is, in fact, still chlorine. Because uh, it asks if a halide ion is present. Or what, maybe I haven't explained what is a halide. Well, it's an it's an ion of a halogen. Halogen are group seven elements, and chlorine, as I said earlier on, is in group seven. So chlorine is a halogen, therefore chloride is a halide halide ion. But what about because it, if you look over on the right hand side. It says that hydrogen gas could be produced. So we could have two gases being produced. So how do we know what's going to be produced at the cathode? We ask, is the metal less reactive than hydrogen? If it's less reactive, then we would get the metal. If it's more reactive, then we would get gas. We would get the hydrogen gas. So we're looking at magnesium. So we need to... Uh, fight, get a reactivity series now. I've got one in the same place that I got the poster from. And where's magnesium? Oh, well, magnesium's up here. So again, is the metal less reactive than hydrogen? Yes. So the metal will be produced. So no hydrogen will be produced. So we've just got the chlorine. So that's the answer to the question. Okay.